So here we are again in our newest showroom, Mark. Tim Newsom with Mark Taylor, the master clock maker. Hello. Tell us something about this new showroom, Mark. Well, uh, this is it, Tim. It's been a closely guarded secret for some time, but we're now up and running and I'm quite proud of it. It looks absolutely lovely and you've got Thank one you. or two really special things here. Oh, like, yes. I know we're going to talk about a yeah. couple of the, yeah. the clocks. Yes. But, but um, we've had a quick look around. You do have a wide variety of bracket clocks, lantern yeah. clocks. Very lucky. Yes, we've got some very, lovely very original nice stock. And, and you wonder really how you fitted everything into one showroom before. That's right, yes. It's amazing thinking back because we lost this now. I don't know how we'd cope. Well, tell us firstly about this. Oh, yes. my new baby, yes. Yeah, absolute classic late 18th century bracket clock by the celebrated eminent maker Bulliami. Now this one is Benjamin Bulliami, just as good, and it really ticks all the boxes, Tim. Well, we had one before, didn't we? We Bulliami? did, yeah. we did, yes. Um, and that's that sold well, and it's taken us some time to get another, because, well, they are rare, there are only so many. Certainly. Uh, but it's classic. Um, the, the features on the clock and the proportions of the case it's quite nice and small compared to that one it's narrower in the mouldings um, we've got a simply engraved back plate with the signature rise and fall regulation strike silent but also unlike the other one this actually quarter repeats at will on two bells what's the date have we got on this then i believe this to be bang on 1796 he was still making identical clocks well into the 1800s so so they were very popular obviously this design worked well they always sell well don't they These they do they're always yes. very popular yes. with people yeah. yeah um and moving to something entirely different mm. uh, in the corner there we have one by robert Philp. oh with absolutely wonderful strange ball moon that i've never seen in a bracket clock from anybody else well not just a bracket clock that's actually a mantle clock Right, um, and wonderful features. It's um, double fusee and grey back plate, verge escapement, um, quarter striking on two bells as well as the hour. Um, we've got the the rolling moon, as they call it, moon phase in the arch, which is astonishingly rare. And also, also, it was probably asked for by the, the person who ordered the clock, an automatic night silence to the strike. I've never heard of that in another clock of this age. Neither have I. No. I think it must have been asked for by a wealthy customer who didn't want to be woken in the night. It must have been. Yes, probably went in, in the bedchamber. Um, could have been ordered by the Chinese emperor, or because th th this this man was known to have made clocks that, that uh, were in those. I collections. saw that he, he had one in the the palace of Beijing. That's I saw right. he had a clock that yeah. made over a million pounds at yeah. the auction. Yes. And I noticed one sold five years ago in Sotheby's for seventy three thousand. Seventy three thousand. Like that. Practically identical, except I don't think that, that I think that one that sold had lost its original finial, right. which this one hasn't. And this is considerably cheaper, or? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. very realistically that's, cheaper. That's great. So there's two examples. We could almost pick on anything else, couldn't we, to talk about? We do you want to talk do. about anything else, or do you want to just leave it there for the moment? I'd like, just like to point out how good that looks on the bracket. This is what makes the table clock a bracket clock. A moon yeah. phase and a bracket. What yes, and made about? in London, which oh, is rare for lovely. moon phase. Yeah. That's a lovely clock. Yeah. All right, well, we can talk about more another time. Yes, and if anybody wants to come and view, then you've only got to contact us or pop in. We'll see you next time. Thank you.